第十三页新闻集锦。尼莫的危机：光污染恐成小丑鱼的生存祸害。Artificial light, no laughing matter for clownfish. An international team of scientists, comprised of researchers from France, the UK, Chile, and Australia, recently studied the clownfish population of the coral reefs surrounding the French Polynesian island of Moorea. This new study has found evidence that clownfish exposed to artificial light for long periods of time were 36 percent less likely to survive compared to clownfish living farther from human settlements. It also noted that in about 44 percent of survivors, slow growth and development rates were evident. Stephen Swearer, a professor of marine biology at the University of Melbourne, Has indicated that Moorea's many beachfront luxury hotels could be to blame. Lights kept on at night disrupt the clownfish's natural light cycles and keep them from experiencing a crucial period of repose. Unable to rest, they die from exhaustion. 欧洲最高法院裁定 YouTube 无需对用户侵权负责 YouTube beats yet another lawsuit. A recent court ruling in Luxembourg has found Google's social media platform YouTube not liable for copyright infringements perpetrated by its users. The acquittal has absolved YouTube of any wrongdoing regarding illegal uploads made between 2008 and 2009. The lawsuit was filed by Frank Peterson, a music producer, when he discovered that songs from his singer Sarah Brightman. Had been unlawfully uploaded on YouTube. The uploads had managed to sneak past YouTube's anti-copyright measures. YouTube removed the content as soon as they noticed, but Peterson claimed that the company was responsible for the oversight. The decision by Europe's top court has clarified that online platforms are not accountable for the act of uploading unauthorized content by any user. They'll only be penalized if they fail to remove or block access to this content.